Okay, here I am at Project Travel webpage, and um, this is the first um, thing that I'll be grading for our HTML, CSS, and it's at the bottom of um, the CSS, right before the more HTML tags. So some of you are already past this, but this is kind of a difficult one. Um, it doesn't give you a lot of instructions. It says work on the project for as long as you'd like, then click the button when you're done. But when you click the button, it then shows you what your goals are, what your rubric is. So um, I wanted to make you aware of these before you did it, and I'm going to show you how to do these. So it says, is it some sort of travel web page? Well, it's not anything right now, so no. Then it says contains at least two headings and two paragraphs. So I already know that headings and paragraphs go between the body tags, the body tag on 7 and then 14. So I'm going to put my next heading um, right here and I'm going to say I'm going to also make it another heading 1 and I'm going to travel to Hawaii and then this is how I do it. I would then copy this. This is my style and I might put in a couple returns or a couple enters and paste it. Now, I don't really need it to be two that say Hawaii. I'm going to say um, the Alps. That's a, a mountain range in Europe. So anyway, I have Hawaii and the Alps. So I already got my um, up here where it says number two contains at least two headings. I've got that. So now I need two paragraphs. So I'm going to go make a paragraph and say I love going to Hawaii where the beach is sandy and really you should write more however I'm not going to make you watch me do it as I am videotaping myself but you need to make yours a longer paragraph that is just a sentence um, so but I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it right below the Alps on line 17. But of course this says I love going to the to Hawaii. I'm going to say I love going to the Alps where the mountains mountains are beautiful. Okay. So if I go up here, I have already done two headings and two paragraphs. So now it says contain at least two lists. So let me make a list about um, Hawaii and I'm going to make an unordered list. And I can say things that I like about it. I can say list item one I can say surfing oops okay now I need a list to have at least three things in the list so I'm gonna copy it and put it surfing and surfing now I can't have it say surfing three times so I'm gonna say surfing and I don't know, eating, like a luau, eating, and music. So those are the things that I like. In fact, I could even put in this paragraph, I like these things. And then it would kind of make sense. Okay, but here's my unordered list. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to take it down below the Alps, below this paragraph, and I'm going to paste it. Now, I'm not going to go surfing on the Alps. I'm going to go skiing, and I can go sledding, and I can go um, skiing, sledding, and 
I don't know, drinking hot chocolate. Now, I have lists. So I'm going to go back up here. It says I need at least three images. So I'm going to go get an image for the Hawaii. Underneath the unordered list on line 17, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to put an image in. Oops. OK, I need to pick an image. I'm going to go to Photos, go to Landscape, and I'm going to put a beach in Hawaii. I'm going to click Close. OK, and it says I don't have a closing angle bracket. I'm going to put a closing angle bracket. There's my picture. If I don't like how tall or wide it is, I can go Height equals 200. and width equals 250, I guess. We'll see. OK, that looks pretty good. Um, now, it said I needed another one, and I put eating here. And I'm going to see maybe there's, um, that would probably be another good picture. But I need three pictures. So what I'm going to do is copy this, and I'm going to paste it right underneath it. And I'll change the picture to something I would eat later. OK, and I actually I need to put a break in, or I want to put a break in, because I want those to be below each other. OK, then I'm going to go down here to the Alps, and here I'll, I'll move this. The Alps, and I'm just going to go right underneath the list, the unordered list, and paste it again. Now, I'm not going to leave these, because you know I, your teacher, me, I will count that wrong. So you can't have all of those. However, all I have to do is take out the HTTP or, and just pick a new file. So I had food. Um, well, that's not very many foods. We're going to say that there are bananas um, in Hawaii. So there it goes. Now I'm going to go down to the Alps. And instead of a beach being there, here's the, here are the here's the Alps picture. I'm going to pick a different file, and let's do landscapes. And there's Mountain Matterhorn. There's that. Okay, so now I have the first four um, first four requirements. Number five says. Use at least one CSS element selector to change color. So I'm always bad at CSS um, one. So I'm going to I do I know that it has to be at the top, and um, but I'm not really sure where. So what I'm going to do is go down to the documentation, and I want to change the background of mine. So here's all the HTML. So I'm going to go down to this, and it's like you know what. I think uh, I want to change the background. So I'm going to click there. And this is like a dictionary of stuff. So let's say, oh, here's some um, to make the body, um, to make the body a background color, I'm just going to go with style and through body. And, and I'll add the other style at the end. So I'm going to copy all of that. And I'm going to go back to my page. Scroll up to the top. I'm going to put it under title because that's not the heading, that's the title. So, and I'm going to paste it in and it's going to come up red, but I'll change that. I need the ending style tag. Okay, so the color was actually white, so let's change it. Whoa. All right, that looks pretty good. So I've got that one. I did at least one CSS element selector to change color. I got that one. Now it says use at least one CSS ID or class selector to change colors. So I'm going to use a CSS ID. 
So you can be fancier and do whatever. But I'm going to make all of the headings, I'm going to make all the headings white. So I'm going to go, well, I forgot. I'm going to go down and look at the, the document, or I mean the, the dictionary down here. So this is an element um, selector. And so I could do the element or the class selector or the ID selector. I haven't defined anything. So I'm going to come over here to the element selector and look at what they have. Okay, ha! Huh. How, how great is this? The color that, that I want to use is white. So I can select that. If I wanted to be really, really fancy, I could select all that, but I'm going to um, select just the headings, and I'm going to go back to my travel page, and in the style here on, on line 10, and now all of my all of them are white so let's go back up um, is it some sort of travel page it is now it has two paragraphs and two headings it has two lists it has three images it has um, one CSS element selector it has one CSS ID so, um, selector, and then there's no syntax syntax errors, or else there'd be Mr. No oh no's. So I have to say that I certify that this is my original work. I didn't go in and just copy somebody else's um, somebody else's page, and then I click. I'm done with my evaluation. So see, it's not as hard as you might think. So good luck to you. If you haven't done these challenges, this would be helpful, but this is the one that I'm grading. Good luck.